it. Here is my current store. Oh no! Oh, my daughter. I can't find her. She has like she has brown hair and she has piggy buns. Oh, um, she might be that girl I saw this morning. But she left though. I think I'm just gonna wait around here and then. Later, once school hours are over, I'm gonna go see if I can catch Yuna somewhere. Let's get going now. Ooh! I found Maya! I'm going to do something to her! Wait, what? Maya? Um. Maya, we found you. We were so worried about you. Oh, come on, you're coming home right now. No more pranks ever again. Am I in trouble? Um, yeah, you are. Maya? Steve Jr. I miss you. Maya, Steve Jr. What is it? We have a big announcement for you. Even though I'm in trouble, you still have an announcement? Yes, we do have an announcement. What is it? We are moving. <laughs> What? We're moving? Yes, we are. Why? We're not moving to a different state, are we? No, we're just going to be moving to a bigger house. This house is a little bit small for the five of us. I was hoping one of the reasons would be to get away from Yucky Boy, though. But you said the five of us. I know. We can't just leave him behind, though, since he is legally a part of our family. And... He's in, like, ninth grade. Or he'll be in 10th grade next year, and the last day of school's really soon. I hear you guys talking about me. Oh, yes. Um, we're gonna be moving. Moving? No, I want to be like friends. We're not moving to a different state. We're just gonna be staying inside a bigger house. Ugh, fine. But then I have to tell my friends all about it, though. Jeez, why is he so grumpy? I want to go to a bigger house. I mean, and Steve Jr. can have our own rooms. Well, it's a three-bedroom house, still like this one. Well, that, that other one will actually be three bedrooms. As you know, this one we'd have to turn the living room into a bedroom. Just for our yucky brother. Sad not even having a real living room. I know, but inside of our new house we will. And we will have actual three bedrooms, but... Unless if one of you guys wants to share with Yucky Boy, then you guys will have to share a room. Oh, I'd way rather share a room with Steve Jr. than <gasps> Yucky Boy. Okay, then. When are we going to be leaving? Once summer break starts. I'm excited for the next day. I'm excited for the last day of school. It's going to be next week. Alright. Well, it's starting to get late now, so we better get ready for bed. Are we going to have the house packed soon? This weekend we'll work on packing, and then you'll have your next, last day of school at some point next week, right? Yeah, Wednesday. Okay. Alright, let's go to bed now. Okay. I can't believe it's already the last day of school. I can't believe that you're going to be graduating elementary school next year. Next year, but not yet. I'm going to be in fifth grade next year. I wonder who my teacher is going to be. I don't really know any of the fifth grade teachers that there are right now. I also can't believe that Steve Jr. is going to be graduating preschool next year. I said I'll never get to be in elementary school at the same time as him, though. Alright, bye, Mom. Bye, sweetie. Alright. Hi, everybody. Oh, hi, Maya. So, today is our last day of school today. I wonder what we're going to be doing. The first thing we're going to be doing is cleaning out our desks. Cleaning out our desks? Boring. Well, we have to do that because it's the last day of school and you cannot keep all your junk inside of your desk. So everybody needs to clean. Oh, fine. You're not as not want to clean out the desk. Hey, do not throw papers at the teacher. Do you want me to call the principal? No. Okay, then. No throwing papers, then. Fine. Ring, ring, ring. Class is over, everybody. Let's all go to recess. Um. He is lying. I know! I just do not want to clean! 
All right, well, I don't think I need this note anymore. But that's a note that I wrote you, though, Emily. I know, but I don't think I need it. No! Emily, how dare you? I'm not your friend anymore. Okay. All right, everybody, I'm going to collect erasers at your desks, okay? If you have erasers, please hand them to me. All right. Erasers. There we go. I'm gonna put the erasers over here inside of this tin over here. All right. Pencils. Here you go. All right. It's boring. Give me your pencil. You don't know have pencil. Everybody has a pencil except for Yuna. All right. Now everybody else do whatever you want with your stuff. Well, I'm already done doing my stuff. Yes, Emily, my best friend. I thought you were mad at me. No, I changed my mind. I mad at Maya. But I didn't do anything wrong. Yee. All right, I'm going to throw my papers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, papers. Papers are yucky. I do not like schoolwork. Me neither. Bye-bye. Even though I got an A-plus on that test. Just kidding. Actually, that wasn't even a test. What do I do with these books? Hand them to me. We can reuse them next year. I will put them on this shelf. I think I can throw away both of these. I can throw away these. I'm gonna throw away this, but of course I'm gonna eat my apple. No eating in class. But I like apples, though. You're gonna have to throw away this paper. Let's try to throw ours at the trash can. Whee! No, do not throw the papers. What if you miss? Hey. Oh, it's funny that it caught on my head, though. Oh, I can throw it away for you. Alright, thanks. Alright, I'm gonna throw mine. I'm gonna stand up on this desk and see if I can make it in. No standing on the desks. And no throwing papers. You didn't even make it. It went behind, see? Hey, you ruined the fun. No, I don't. All right, well, now that we're done cleaning our desk and they look nice and sparkly and clean, what we have to do now is we're going to do lab time. And you can do whatever you want. Ooh, yes. Come on, everybody. You're not going to actually do what she wants for once. Ooh. I'm going to watch to make sure nobody gets hurt. How would we get hurt? All right. I'm going to... Look at this magnet. Hmm. I'm gonna look inside this microscope. Ooh, look at the tiny beaker. I'm gonna put the rainbow one in. Although I know it's not actually rainbow. I want to see what color it gets. Yellow. No, it's actually rainbow. I can use the fat one. This one's the fat one. I'm gonna put every color in. To make another rainbow. It doesn't work. I guess what you're not gonna do next. What? Drink the potion. No, don't do that. All right, I drink it. Yuna, that's not a good idea. Why? You'll find out in a second. Mm, Yuna doesn't feel very good. Mm, mm, mm. I told you and somebody could possibly get hurt. Come on, Yuna. I not hurt, I'm okay. I think it's a good idea that we don't watch what's happening right now. Yeah. Come on, let's keep doing fun stuff. I have an idea. Let's throw all the books away. Um, I think that's a bad idea, Ed. No, it sounds fun. Come on. I'm gonna do it. Let's see. I'm gonna just start stacking them. I'm gonna help too. That's a bad idea. I wanna help too. Uh, didn't you guys realize it's such a bad idea? Of course it's not a bad idea. I'm gonna do it too. Oh my gosh, what are you guys doing? 
No, Gabby and Anna, you guys can't do that. Or Emily. I'm just not going to do it. I think that's a bad idea. Come on, let's throw all the books away. Hey, I didn't get any. You can have a few of mine. And you can have one of mine. And two of mine. Come on. Here we go. We're going to do it in three. You nuts did not feel very good. Two. One. What are you guys doing? Um, they were about to throw the books away. What? You guys are in very big trouble. On the last day of school. You don't have to do anything wrong. Would you have done it if you were in here? I would have just drank more potion. Hmm. Well, you guys, Maya, you're not in trouble because you are being good. Uh, you weren't going to pour that on it, were you? Uh, hey, Ed. All right, you're going to the principal's office. You guys don't have to because, well, actually you do because you almost did it anyway. I am taking those books from you. All right. Don't cry. This is your fault. Come on. Come on to Principal Snail's office. Come on. Can you take them to the principal's office? All right. Thank you. All right. It will just be you two for a while. Let's go to recess. Me and Yuna being the only ones in the class. This is going to be so awkward. No, it's going to be amazing because I'm going to be mean to you. I wish that I could do pranks on you, but all my pranks are inside of our moving boxes at home since we're moving. You're moving? Where are you going? Just to a different neighborhood. Oh, no. We're going to a bigger house. My neighborhood has lots of big houses. You have a big house. Lucky. At least I'll get to be in a big house soon. Guess what? We'll get to eventually have lockers. We don't get lockers yet, though. Do we get lockers in fifth grade? Um, yes, you do. Ooh, really? That sounds like fun. All right, let's go. All right, here we are at recess. Hey, where's Ed? He got sent to the principal's office for th almost throwing books away, and he poured lab solution on the books. Ooh, that's not very nice of him. I know, right? He's usually nice, although he can be a little bit naughty sometimes. Yes, you know I would never do that. All right, you two are in trouble. Why would we be in trouble? Because you skipped school all the other day. Oh my gosh, why? Just get over that by now. Not you again, you're yucky. I'm going to push you again. No! Okay, fine. Come on, do you guys want to play soccer with us? Not really. This is so weird. Why am I talking to Yuna? Because you like Yuna a lot. Yuna's your favorite. No, you're not my favorite. Ooh, look, yummy mushrooms. I'm gonna eat them. Yuna ate one. No, they were supposed to be for me, though. It says that abandoned house that I'm in. There's so many mushrooms. Why are you in an abandoned house? Ooh, why did I say that out loud? Why are you in a abandoned house? Uh, yeah, I don't even know why I said that out loud. Just pretend like I never said that. I was joking. Okay. Oh, I'm going to steal somebody's phone. That is my phone. Go away. No. Ooh, my birthday is this summer. I might be getting a phone for my birthday. My parents said I cannot have a phone until I go to middle school, and that is in a long time. Actually, in a year, you'll be getting ready to go to middle school. I know, but still. I'm nine right now, and I'm going to be turning ten this summer. My mom said I can get a phone once I turn ten. I'm already ten, because my birthday is inside of, inside of December. My birthday is inside of, my birthday is inside June, a little later this month. Okay. Alright, everybody, come on this way. Oh, hi, Principal Snail. Here's the students. I think they're good enough to come out now. But Ed should stay in there a little longer. No, I want to be with Ed a little bit on the last day of school. Yeah, please. I can tell my mom to do whatever she wants with me when I get home. 
Okay, then. Bye. Alright, well, it's almost time for parent pickup time. Yes, pick up. Are we even going back in the classroom? Um, I don't think so. Oh, yes. Pick up. Uh, Alright, follow me this way, everybody, for pick up. Alright, everybody, pick up! Not pick up, we won't get to play soccer all this summer. Actually, we're going to that summer camp and we'll get to do it there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, summer camp, that sounds fun. I want to do summer camp. I'm going to a summer camp this summer. It's at the activity house. Ooh, that's the one we're going to as well. Maybe we'll see you there. But you guys are weird, though. Oh. We're going to be doing a soccer club there. Oh, I can do it too so that I can hit you guys with it. Uh, okay. I really want to do that summer camp. I should ask my mom about it. Although we're moving this summer and being really busy. So I'm not really sure. I think that's the only main thing we're doing. But we might end up doing more though. My mom said that she's not telling me much. Because she likes giving me surprises. She actually didn't tell me that. But I know that she usually does. You're not going to sit with you so that I can bother you. Alright, teachers, stand over here! I can't believe we're all done with fourth grade now. Yes, but we still have to do fifth grade. I know. Hi. Oh, there's my mom. Oh no, it's your mom again! What's so bad about my mom? Alright, bye everybody. Hopefully you guys will- Are you guys all coming back next year? Yes. All right. By the way, Mom, there's a summer camp that I want to do. Summer camp. I'm sure you, I don't really know how much time we'll have this summer for you to do summer camp. Are you sure? We'll look into it. Okay. Now, come on. We'll be moving tomorrow morning. Yes. <laughs>